Roy Olson, your friend and missionary to Romania, and I have the joy of having with me today I, uh, really a man who works in the apostolic level of ministry, a, a missionary uh, to the nation of the Czech Republic and beyond. Uh, his name is Sangi Nam, and uh, I'm thrilled to have you here with us today. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we're here in Chesapeake, Virginia, enjoying a time of fellowship together. And uh, I'd like to ask uh, you, Brother Sangi, uh, how did you get to Europe? How, what happened? Uh, I was a professional soldier. Of course, I, at the time I was a Christian. And God called me quit my military job in Korea. And uh, I quit my military job and uh, I went to theological seminary, Full Gospel, where Pastor Yonggi Jo was uh, president of this school. And I went there and I studied. And I became a, later on uh, pastor of one local church in Korea. At that time, 1990, January, we had a mission conference. At that time, we had a, a guest speaker from Europe, from Germany, from Switzerland, one from Holland. They came to challenge Korean young people, and they asked us a question. They said, what do you think about Europe? And we said to them, Europe is Christian continent. When we see the statistics, 95 or 80, 75 percent of the population are Christian. And if somebody wants to be a missionary, he shouldn't come to Europe, but go to Africa, Asia, Latin America. And they said, you are wrong. Europe is not Christian continent, it's pagan continent and they challenge with this uh, Bible verse, come over to Europe and help us. White men ask uh, yellow people to come over to Europe to help us. And they said, don't come to Europe to study theology. You can uh, study theology in Korea, but come to Europe to preach the gospel, plant the church, and encourage people and uh, train leaders. I, took that message as my calling. Uh, that was uh, January uh, 1990, and I went to my church and asked leadership whether they will send me to Europe and support me and pray for me. And they said, I, we know you, we trust you, so we'll send you. Yeah. So they sent me at that year, July, 1990, <laughs> July, and at the time I left alone without my wife and two children. For six months I went to England to study intensively English because at the time I didn't speak uh, English, I didn't know anybody in Europe, but I went, I obeyed through God's calling. And then Later on, my family joined to me in England, and we stayed two years all together in England. Uh, the purpose was especially for training. And then I came to mainland uh, Germany. Uh, I stayed in Germany for six months and a few months in Switzerland. We had local church there. We had a good cooperation, uh, some local church in hmm? Switzerland, in Germany, and Poland, uh, 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 Holland, and then 1993, we settled down in Czech Republic. So you're, you're, you're now in the Czech Republic? Yeah. What is the Czech Republic like? Czech Republic was uh, one of the communist country, so you know Eastern Europe hmm, is, yeah. was a uh, communist country. And also, it is a Catholic country, 
65% of world population claim they are Catholics, Roman Catholics. And uh, there are uh, few Christian churches. And uh, statistics say the 0.01 are born again Christians. 0.01%? Yeah. That's a very little. Yeah. They need a missionary. They need a missionary, they need Jesus, they need gospel. Yes, yes. So you have settled down there. What have you done in, uh, that's 24 years now since you left yeah. Korea. Um, what, what, what have you done in, uh, in, in the Czech Republic? When I came to Czech Republic, I had to know culture, know uh, churches and uh, all these things. So I began to co-work with one Methodist church. It's because this method church was very charismatic and Pentecostal uh, direction. Uh, they asked me to uh, start a Bible school and training leaders. So we began to do the, this job. And uh, so my, uh, I felt my mission is training leaders so they can go out to the street to preach the gospel and plant the churches. Your focus is in training leaders. Yeah. Uh, now, do, are you pastoring a church there now? I did a few times uh, pastoring a, a local church, but I have planted uh, several churches in Czech Republic, in Slovakia, but some mm, already other people took over these uh, churches, but five churches are under my leadership. Five churches? And two more churches in England. And two more churches in England? Yeah. Wow. But this church in England is Gypsy Church, because the Gypsy community they, from Czech Republic, they went to England yes. and they gathered together and started a church. So you have the oversight over these seven churches. Yeah. That must be an exciting life. <laughs> there is a exciting life and also difficulties and challenge. I understand that uh, your influence goes beyond just these seven churches. Where else do you go? I think uh, five years later when I came to Czech Republic, God began to open the door in another nation, for example, Poland, and Ukraine, uh, Slovakia, Bulgaria, Serbia, Romania, Croatia, and Germany, England. So you've been in all these nations? Uh, not only I've been there, but I am uh, cooperating with uh, uh, with local churches and then uh, we are doing mission work there. Yes, I understand recently you had uh, five pastors from Poland, mm -hmm. so you go to Poland. I often go to Poland. Often? Yeah. Now Poland is neighbor. Neighbor, so, yeah. Okay, and uh, do you go beyond Poland? Beyond Poland and also uh, I go to also Lithuania, I, I, I forgot to tell you. Oh, Lithuania, Lithuania. Yeah, sir. Oh. Baltic nation. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave uh, for a moment, but I would like you to look into the camera and uh, speak to the people who are going to listen to this and uh, share your heart with them. As I mentioned, that Europe is not Christian continent. It is pagan continent. There are uh, churches, but they are very uh, small and few, especially where there are strong Roman Catholicism. Uh, Christian churches are very few. 
and people need Jesus. People need good Bible believing and Holy Spirit filled churches. Uh, in that uh, uh, churches, they have a lack of a leadership. So I see as a my as a missionary, the great need of Eastern European churches are leadership training. So uh, I focus on training leaders and also future leaders. They need a, a Bible teachings and theological uh, teachings and also practical teachings so they can go to their own uh, ministry to their best. For example, uh, as a Korean, we have a great uh, examples or experience uh, these things. When missionary uh, from U United States came to Korea, at the beginning they did uh, all things. Pastor, they were pastors and uh, teachers in the Bible school, or even president of the denomination. But few years later, they began to teach local people, Korean uh, leaders, to take over the, all the, this uh, ministry. And even though they were uh, a little uh, weaker than the missionaries, but they did their best and the Korean church began to grow uh, amazingly. So I believe that as a missionary, as a uh, pastors or teachers in the United States, you can come over to Europe, training leaders and challenge them and change their uh, vision, their time, and give uh, sacrifice uh, your uh, material things. So extend the kingdom of God in uh, in Europe. And I am very grateful that your uh, churches send. Uh, missionary Lloyd to Romania, he's doing a good job and he's impacting churches and leaders in Romania. I'm very grateful to meet him and uh, we'll uh, co continually cooperate with him and uh, we'll do the uh, wonderful mission work in Romania, in Czech Republic and beyond in, uh, in Europe. Uh, God bless you. Uh, thank you so much.